Hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and in this video we are going to see how to create a, a four-way traffic control system using the ESP32. So here in this video this is the this is our diagram. So this that's how we are going to create our circuit. So the first thing we have done is we have created the four ways of our control system that is this four four group of our LEDs so in every group we have red yellow and green LEDs so the top one is the is our way number one or the traffic control system number one then the this is number two this is number three and this is number four so we need to mark this because that's how we are going to program our ESP32 so to create this diagram we need to place 12 LEDs such like this and then we are going to connect all the negative all the negative side of our leds like this i have uh, i have connected all the negative side with some wires here then i have connected a 330 ohm resistor to the negative side and connected that to our negative rail of the breadboard and i have done the same thing with all of our four groups of LED. Then I have connected all these LEDs positive side to the ESP32. So here in the diagram let me tell you how I have connected this. This is the first LED of first red LED. So this is marked as R1 in our program. So this is connected to the LED number 23. Then this is the second one. It is connected to LED number 22 and the third one is connected to LED number 21 and the last fourth one is connected to LED number 20, LED number 19. So that is how we have connected all this, all the other 8 LEDs. So you can check this and create your diagram such like this. So this is our circuit that we have designed using the diagram that I have shown and the diagram will be provided in the video description so i have connected here this is this is the first ground pin and this is the second ground pin which are connected to the negative rail of our breadboard on both side then i have connected all the red wire all the red wires then the yellow wires and in this side i have connected all the green wires so the wires are connected serially in our esp32 but the but their number is not sequentially correct so you have to check the programming part of this video and and note all the correct pins so here let's see how i have connected all these leds so these LED, these are the three LEDs. I have connected all the negative pins with this little oil and then I have attached a 330 ohm resistor to the negative side and then connected this 303 ohm resistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. I have done the same for the all four groups of the LEDs and then I have connected the red, green and yellow input wires to the LED's positive side. So now let's go to our Arduino ID and program this, program the ESP32. So the first thing we do in our Arduino ID is we define all the pins. So the pins we are using is the first we define all the red pins which are pin number 23, pin number 22, pin number 21 and 19. Then we define all the yellow pins. So the yellow pins are pin number 18, 5, 17, 16. Then we define all the green pins. The green pins are 6, 26, 25, 32 and 33. And we have then we go to our void setup part and we set up the pin mode for all the pin and we have set up all the pins mode as output the reds are in the first column the yellow are in the 
second column and the green sign in the third column. Then to set the pin mode, we write pin mode the pins or the LED's name or the pins name and then we write output uh, with all caps and we do the same thing for the for all the 12 LED. Then the void loop part, then the void loop part I have explained this in another video which is how to control how to create a traffic light with Arduino part 2 then you can understand how this code works so this is how it will look after we have uploaded our program to the ESP32 so when the green LED is on all the three will be all the other three will be red as you can see here when they are going to transition there is the yellow light and it will be repeated again and again in all four of this group of three LEDs. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.